misty morning on the way to Lost River Classic gravel race. So this is like a 70 mile race and a bunch of climbing. I probably would have extended my break from racing and training this week, taking a midsummer break after Leadville, SBT, legs were flat, didn't perform uh, very well and you know, mentally it was like kind of over the last couple weeks. And you gotta just listen to the signs, take a break. So most of this week has been off, hanging out with the kids, hanging out with Aaron, doing fun stuff. And um, really excited to get the legs back. You know, maybe they'll be back today. And then if they're not, I'll take some more time off. But um, had to support this one. This event is a fundraiser for Lost River Trails Coalition. And it is an effort to build trails in Lost River State Park and in the general region, sort of this um, beautiful hidden corner of West Virginia. There she is. There's my whip. So going with the Canyon Grail today, bike of choice. So uh, a lot of road on this one. There's definitely the qualifier section. I like to call it a single track section that you hit like right after the climb up the uh, east side of Crooked Run, which goes to the border between Virginia and West Virginia, that big mountain up there. Um, you drop down and then there's a left turn and it's rocky, technical, single track, maybe two or three miles of single track. But if you're on a road bike, you will be hating life um walking getting flats and uh like to think of that as the qualifier it keeps you off the road bike for this course later on in the course there's some pavement some good steep climbs but the traction will be really good on the canyon grail she's a little dirty um but other than that ready to go it's gonna be fun all right here we go lost river classic so good morning how's it going so a little background on lost river classic the namesake of this gravel race and a lot of the routes a brainchild of none other than the founder of a raw talent ranch jay moglia so jay passed away uh just geez this is a year and a half ago so name of the lost river classic which is jay's road race he had run for several years and one of his classic gravel routes which i kind of helped contribute to and uh, here we go, Lost River Classic Gravel Race. So super pumped to see how this comes out. A lot of people came out for this uh, first edition. Looks like a couple hundred people and looking forward to it. Should be a ton of fun. What? Baked goods? Oh, shuck. Cinnamon roll. Oh man. I hope they're there when I'm back. And we got coffee over here. Oh yeah. Um, so this is a really challenging course. I like really challenging courses normally. I'm as tired as I am right now. I want to do like a flat downhill gravel race. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is going to be really awesome. Lost River Classic is a go. Awesome to see everybody out here this morning. Go have fun. Have fun out there. All right, so this thing starts with a, a pretty massive climb, but I'm really hoping this neutral rollout slows this down a tad. Here we go. Kind of beautiful to see the pack. Jay would have really liked this. Nice, right, South Point Loop Grand Fondo jersey. There we go. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, good, good. Well, I better hurry up if I'm gonna get anywhere near the front of this thing for this first big climb. After that, there's some good areas to sit on, but kind of if you missed the boat, you missed the boat, so. Tighten my shoes. Got them a little disheveled, but getting there. Just gotta get my crap together for this first big climb. Coming up in like a mile. <laughs> 
It's uh, the west side of Crooked Run. It's about three miles long. I think Chris Michaels has the KOM on it. And it's like very steep. See? Ben Wright is here. So some horsepower, like he climbs like Keegan. Maybe not as good endurance, but super, super fast. So I probably should get my ass kicked today, but we'll just see what happens. Ben Wright set the tempo, but we'll see. That might backfire. Here's where the climbing really starts. Hello legs. I just chill a little bit. Start a race. Just like I like it. Yeah. technical section barely rideable if I ride it I'll catch them if I don't I might be solo all day long coming up here in about a mile Yeah. <laughs> 
We have full enough to take advantage of this section. Hey, right, time go. There we go. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds up. Now Nathan's with me, let's go. No clock. Oh yeah. Purple compacto. So what do you think of that uh, single track section? <laughs> what do you like, did you like that enduro? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well I knew you'd hate that. But that's the only section like that, so I basically didn't get my advantage to any use, so I'm probably screwed on this last climb. We'll see. Oh yeah, so good. That gray, delicious Shenandoah Valley gravel. SPT says they have the champagne gravel. We have the, the gravel hooch, the like moonshine gravel. I don't know. But it's good, like limestone, I think is the best. It's just uh, soft and kind of like get this nice sound. And back here where they've done this logging cut, they put down some freshy and it's super nice. Cool course so far, I really like it. Oh yeah. Oh. Virginia and West Virginia. This next big climb it takes us back into Virginia. It's called Judge Ride. Really big one. I'm just gonna suffer. Across the flank 
of this big mountain that separates Virginia and West Virginia. This next big climb takes us back into Virginia. It's called Judge Ride. Really big one. I'm just going to suffer. Yeah. Before I suffer, I'm going to show you this downhill. Fog's burned off. Absolutely gorgeous for an August day. It's like, I don't know, about 70 degrees back here. It's nice. Minute up, Nathan. Probably a minute back. And about two more miles up. So two more miles climbing. So pace and hope one of the two of them comes back. Play smart here. Six to yourself, and have to track it down. All right. Last half mile of this climb. It's been a long one. It's almost five miles long. So bad. Big descent. Now for a little bit of pavement, uh, I'm going to have to roll freight on this next big gravel, full flat downhill. I mean, like 300 watts to close a minute. It's going to be tough, but uh, we'll see. Legs don't feel too damaged by those two monster climbs all out. So, let's see how it goes.
big chain ring. Ball slash downhill for seven miles. Oh yeah. Go. Oh yeah, he saw me. He saw me. But I'm gonna get him. Just need to lock on before the road section. And then two big climbs. River, where the river goes under a mountain and comes back up. marked that goes to the single track so it might be lost river after all it might be a lost beautiful shade line road start contrast the first this section is like totally different than okay so GoPro battery died um, but there were two big climbs left and I wasn't sure how I was feeling but uh, we hit the climb up to Big Ridge, which is this private property climb, super steep. Ben got off to walk. I managed to ride it. Canyon Grail was awesome, by the way. And uh, yeah, it was kind of an equalizer. Then we get up to the final climb, which is Helmet Rock. I'm very familiar with it. We did training camp up there a bunch of times. I knew it gets steep in the middle, but if I could hold on, I might be able to, to match Ben. Um, but it, amazingly had this this uh, this amazing bounce back uh, i felt like rocky balboa the whole daggone race getting just beaten into the ropes and my strategy was just to tire him out by using my face as a punching bag and it it worked that never works but it worked this time and the last climb ben was pushing but maybe 350 watts something like that and I was like, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I can maybe attack. So I attacked on him, put in the turbos, sprinted near the top of the climb. I think it really took him off guard. He clawed his way back to me on the top, but it was mano y mano coming to the last downhill. So I just finished up the Lost River Classic gravel race and legs are locking up, sweat everywhere, dirt all over my legs. But I won. I don't know how I won. I was feeling so exhausted. Barely rode this week. Um, ben Wright was smashing on the first couple climbs. We came uh, up into the last climb together. It was absolutely crazy because I actually had some legs. I attacked on him on the hardest climb up Helmet Rock. So I think Jay Mogley would be proud of me. I uh, played a really smart race and was soft on the turn, snapped out of the corners, got maybe a four second gap on the downhill and then pull full TT mode. I mean, maximum RPMs, but uh, drove hard to get to the line first. And there we go. The Lost River Classic was a great race. 
here with uh, Ethan. Well done. <laughs> Where's my fist bump, buddy? There we go. There we go. Um, so my GoPro died a little bit toward the end, but uh, everything running how you wanted? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's a great day. We had good turnout, good first year event. I think, uh, yeah, this is a great showcase for Hardy County Mountains, oh, yeah. for sure. Definitely. <laughs> and super cool, you know, I was thinking about Jay a little bit uh, while we're out there riding. And it feels good to win this one, dedicating it to Jay Moglia. A lot of the inspiration for riding out here and uh, riding gravel. So super stoked to pull this one down. Obviously, um, the race is cool in and of itself, racing part. Uh, a lot of people out there are just enjoying the ride. Absolutely beautiful. That section of private property was awesome. Hopefully we can continue to incorporate things like that um, as Lost River Trails Coalition grows. This is a fundraiser for trail uh, access and trail advocacy. And All right, so cruising, a little cool down here with Ben Wright. Uh, it was so close to cramps. <laughs> the last descent it's not ideal. Like I don't recommend people attack down a road descent with hairpins, but uh, the bike race. And I didn't like. Uh, there was nothing I couldn't like. I could avoid oncoming cars. So let's just say that. Let's just say that. So um, how'd your race shape shape up? How are you feeling today? Uh, shaped up pretty good, except for that last descent where I couldn't catch you. <laughs> and legs good. Yeah, they felt good on the climbs. I might may have overextended myself a little bit on the first two. Yeah. I should have saved a little bit more for the other. So you didn't have a power meter on that? No. No, oh, but I mean, I knew every minute you operate above threshold is a minute you don't get to operate at threshold at the end of the race. So it's really kind of like this catch 22. And I'm old. I mean, there's no secret to that. I'm 46. Um, so I kind of know if my motor blows up, I'm in big, big trouble. It's awesome racing with you. Yeah, you too. So freaking strong. And um, yeah, we'll have to do that again. What's next? Uh, I don't know. Shenandoah 100 maybe? Maybe. TSE gravel grinder? Yeah. How's it going? It's all right. Yeah. That course is so, something else. Here with Nathan. Um, what did you think about that? Third place today, Lost River Classic, first time. What did you learn? What do you think? Um, I think if you can run bigger tires, bigger tires are the moves. I hope this race sticks around. Um, it's definitely out of the ordinary for a lot of the gravel races around here. Just yeah. Because there's so much really tough forest road and yeah. all kinds of stuff to keep you on your toes. Savage climbing. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's it's rough. Any race that's like it that you can think of. Um, Massive climbs, dirt road, pavement, little single track. There's definitely not a valley road ride. Yeah. They're doing their barbecue over there. Got some uh, turkey barbecue taking place. Oh, yeah. I know. Is, is it a mountain biker's travel race or is it a, a I would road certainly biker's say that's a, a mountain biker's travel race. Well, um, there's only two miles of single track in the whole thing, but it was pretty technical. I'd say it was, it was oh shit technical. I had to GoPro on and, and you'll see a bit of it. And I was definitely like, oh boy, here we go. And any closing remarks? What do you have Not going really. on next? I am, I am this was a hard race <laughs> yeah yeah so, uh, next up is TSE gravel stage race next week right starts on, on Thursday right on. awesome well good luck thank and, you and uh, hope to see you at uh, at 100 yeah well done so unreal really unreal bike was awesome legs were awesome big change from the summer's races and I was stoked to come out with the win at the Lost River Classic gravel race